Welcome fellow viewers. In as an introduction for this session, we're going to have two videos. In each video, several clips in which we will show the synchronization of these two controllers to this motor. But before we do that, let us explain what's new with this setup. As you can see, we have two controllers, which are labeled C1 and C2. But both of them are 48 volts, 1,500 watts. As you can see, they are both identical. Plus, we have a new motor, 6384-120KV versus the 6374-170KV that I used before. 63 millimeters in width and 84 millimeters in length. The previous one, I believe, was up to here. If it's a little bit more, more torque. So, up you stay tuned and we experience together if these two controllers can work with the same motor. Let's do that, shall we? This is clip one. And right now, I'm going to show you where I am on this controller, which I label C1, C1 chart. So I found a combination that gives me forward and reverse using this whole set of wire combination on this chart. So I'm here on hole one, phase one, forward rotation, and hole one, phase six, reverse rotation. And that's what I have this whole wire system set up right now. Let me see, I believe I, have, I am on reverse. I'm gonna turn the system and show you that. Let's get ready. All right, system on, rotation. As you can see, it's reverse from right here. Nice and smooth startup. Uh, uh, low nose, you know, smooth, check it out. Amps, full throttle, okay, so now I'm going to swap the faces, I'm going to go to forward, okay, and I got to match that column of the wires, I'm going to leave the system on, okay, so let's go, yellow, yellow, Green, green, and blue, blue. Now we're going to have forward rotation. Watch this. Nice and smooth startup, right? Quiet and smooth, right? Check the amps. Okay, so that's where I am right now with this control and this motor. At this point, I have the specific sequence combination in forward and reverse that would allow me to use this motor in an e-bike or a go-kart. And depending on the position of the motor on that vehicle, I can use either forward and reverse. So my next clip, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my other controller, swap it for this one, and see if the other controller can still rotate the motor with the same setup that I found here. And also, if it doesn't, if it does good, that means they all build the same. And if it doesn't, we're going to try to use the learning cables, right? So that way we can find a specific sequence for that motor. So, stay tuned. Okay, so this is clip two. And on this clip, we are set up with C2 controller, as you can see here. I swapped it from C1. And on C1 controller, this motor run forward and reverse 
with this cold sensor and phase motor combinations. So I put this C2 controller, which is identical to that one, to C1, and we want to see if this combination holds for this controller. Hopefully it'll run our motor. Let's check that out. Okay, let's get system on. I believe we are in forward right now. It's supposed to run this way, right? Let's see. Yellow, yellow, blue, blue, green, green. It says forward. Look, it's running backwards. And it doesn't write, run correctly. It's sort of loud. See that? That's not what you want. So, let's see if we swap the wires. Let's see if we get the forward rotation. And this is totally weird. Green, blue. Green, blue. Yellow, green. totally weird because now it's running backwards all right so here we're supposed to have reverse let's check that out see now it's running forward and also it's rough it's not running the way it's supposed to be nice and smooth isn't that weird see we got the faces of the whole sensors yep matching colors that's pretty good and you have the faces okay yeah so it's running totally opposite of what it did on controller one with this combination either forward or reverse also it's loud it's rough that's not what we want okay so that didn't work so, on the next clip, we're going to stick with the same controller, and we're going to try to use the learning cable and see if we can fix that problem. Welcome to clip three, and where we are right now is with the same controller, C2. And as you saw in the previous video, C2 did not run well with this combination for controller number one. The motor runs, but it doesn't run well. So what we're going to try to do is use the learning cables to see if that works. Now the process to do this is that we must find a combination that the motor runs, at least runs. If you can see over here, some of these combinations says NR, which means no run which means the motor doesn't run at all. And if you watch my videos, you notice that there are sometimes with some of these combinations, the motor doesn't move at all. So in that case, you don't want to use that particular combination. You want to find one that more or less the motor at least runs. And in this one, although the motor doesn't run nice and smooth, just like controller one, it did on this combination, then at least we can use it with this learning cable and that's what you want to pick so for that for this procedure what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the whole sensors right and we are set up with uh, reverse motion so when we connect the cables We are set up with the reverse, but I believe it's running backwards, forward, it's running forward rather than reverse. So when we put this in, it's going to start running backwards. All right, so whole sensor's off. We plug in the cables. And this is very important. You find at least one rotation that uh, is moving the motor because if you don't, when the motor is uh, um, it's not moving, 
generally what happens is the amps jump up to around 15 amps and you don't want to do that so that's why you need to find at least a combination that rotates the motor okay so we got the meters set up just the face connector no whole sensors just yet all right main power on And we're going to leave it like here for about 30 seconds. Supposedly, the controller is learning how the motor is set up with the faces. <coughs> okay? And that takes about 30, 40 seconds or so. As you can see, it's running forward, which in this position is supposed to be reverse. But I think it was running forward, so I don't know. Hmm. So we'll find out here. All right. So we're gonna unplug it and we're gonna test it and see if it's running forward still. Okay, still running forward, which is supposed to be reverse. Now we're going to shut it down. We're going to add the whole sensors. And we'll see if that roughness, we get rid of it. As you can see now we don't have that roughness anymore see nice and smooth even the startup check it out now check out the amps we're at 1.26 all right let's shut down <coughs> now Let's do one thing. Let's swap the leads and see if we get the reverse rotation. Okay, so we're gonna go color, matching colors here. Hopefully the controller learn. The motor's not moving at all, so it doesn't look like it did. So we're gonna go back. See if we still have the other rotation, which is green, blue. Yellow, green. Green, blue. Green, blue, yellow, green, blue, yellow. Okay, so what we're going to do now is try to use the learning cable. To make it go the other way right now it's forward we're gonna go reverse but it's forward on the we're supposed to be reverse on the other controller okay so we're gonna make it go reverse Let's see what it does we shut down the system unplug we're gonna connect the learning cable and we're gonna Oh, 
feeling I need to change batteries on this meter. All right, let's see. All right, we've got the backward rotations right now. Again, 30 seconds, 40 or so. Just to let the controller learn how's the motor rotating, which is what this cable is supposed to do, reverse it. So right now we are in here on the faces and on the whole sensors we're right here, which is rotating in reverse, which is the right sequence for C1. So we're sort of forcing it to be like C1 right now. Hopefully this will work. Okay, so we disconnect the system. learning cables and then we test it see if it's, it holds the rotation okay so it did all right so we shut down the system we plug in the whole sensors system back up again let's try Okay, sounds good. A little bit rough there. I'm not sure if it's okay. Doesn't look like. Doesn't sound it's okay. Let's see. Okay. So it is not working. Um. Let's see if we swap the leads. 